Hey, it's Mel Dennis here for our Las Vegas Run for a Million special for the NRHA Oceana in the Spin. And I'm standing here with Jess Kent. Jess has ridden in the Run for a Million rookie class all the way from Australia. Well done, Jess. Thank you very much. I'm very excited to be here. It's very exciting. Tell us a little bit about the lead up to, um, I guess, from the start in, in thinking about, hey, I'm, I'm a rider from Australia. I would want to run in Run for a Million rookie. Where did it all start for you? Uh, it started at the Waterworld Classic. I just uh, I didn't compete to actually think I would get here. I did the qualifier for my confidence. Um, I just wanted to get out there on my horse, give it a go and see if I was even able to qualify at all. And I did, um, which was cool. And then we kind of went, well, you've qualified and Sue and Tom McCormick were there with me and Sue was like, well, why don't you go? So... We thought, well, we'll give it a crack and we'll see what we can organise. Fantastic. So you're training with Todd McCormick back in, back in Australia? Correct, yeah. So Todd's Victoria, I'm New South Wales, so I travel down and back to train with Todd when I can, um, obviously with work and horses and stuff. So I do try and do that um, the best that I can, um, as often as I can. So a big shout out to Todd and, and Sue to, to thank you, thank them, I guess, for getting you all of this way. And they haven't been able to make it with you, unfortunately. What's your support team been like here, your, your crew? The crew have been amazing, but definitely a big shout out to Sue and Todd. Without them, I definitely would not be here. Um, the Troy Hikes, I had training me here, thanks to Todd as well. And the horse I borrowed was from Ben Ballo. So I'm very grateful to all involved. Um, and my other teammate that also trained with, with Troy as well, Jen, she did great as well. So it's been a great crew. Obviously, I've got family here too. So I don't know, it's just, it's been mind-blowingly crazy and exciting. And it's just been such a blast and a thrill to be here. Tell us a little bit about the horse you've been riding. Uh, so he's an eight-year-old. He's eight or nine-year-old. Um, he's actually a cow horse. So um, he was a kind, honest uh, gelding, buckskin, super cute, super lovely, um, just a lot bigger to what I'm used to. So that was, yeah, I've had, I got six rides on him. Ride seven was the run for a million. So it was very much a catch ride. Um, just a very big learning curve, but a very cool one. And where has the horse come from? Uh, oh, Cave Creek, Arizona. I think Cape yeah. Creek or Cave Creek. I'm so sorry. I'm not sure. It's one or the other, but Arizona. All good. And so you came up a little bit earlier than the show, obviously, to get those six rides in? Yeah. So I flew in on the 9th um, into Arizona and then we did, the horse didn't arrive till the 11th or 10th or 11th. No, the 11th. So I've had pretty much the six days. I had two rides in Arizona at Troy's place, at Troy Hikes' place, and then straight to here and throw it out there and have a go so yeah and tell us a little bit about yesterday coming in um i guess you had your warm-up first and then coming in for your run to run us through all of that um well gosh um <laughs> that's a big one it was i don't know it was just i was kind of in shock for the whole thing because once you sort of go at show day you kind of switch on to show mode and try and you know remember everything you've learned and and you know the horse you're riding and all of its buttons and you know how you did it how you don't do it and stuff like that so we went into the warm-up pen Troy had me just loping around to relax just to relax I get very nervous obviously and in a place like this it's nerve-wracking you see all the big guys riding their horses around and you know but um yeah so we went in the the pen just to the training pen just to loop around get a feel of some spins um and and just just get relaxed is more than was more the game for Troy he's what he wanted me to do yeah fantastic um how are your nerves going into your run uh a blur uh it was a lot and it was very scary it's a very intimidating pen to ride in um but super exciting all the same um I just wanted to get in there I just wanted to have a go I just wanted to remember the pattern for starters (laughs) (laughs) yeah so remember the pattern I just wanted to get it lay a pattern down cleanly and just give it my best And how do you feel now, um, I guess, 24 hours after? It took a little bit to sink in. I came out going, oh, I don't know if that was good or bad, but I had fun doing it. I had a blast, but I'm thrilled. I'm really happy. Um, My horse was super honest, and I just, I don't, I don't know. I gave it my best shot for seven rides on a cow horse that I didn't really know, and I'm really proud of what I did. I'm proud of how I rode. Um, Obviously, you look back and you go, oh, I want to fix this and fix that, but 
you know what, I'm here and I did it and that's Vegas, I guess. Yeah, fantastic. And look, I think it was just under 100 runs in the rookie yesterday. So you've really got to be here for the experience, right? right? And yeah. what an experience it is. There's so many people back in Victoria. You know, there's a lot that qualified that weren't able to get horses. Yeah. A lot that thought, what's the point of qualifying? What would you, your advice be to them? Oh gosh don't not do it qualify try and get here the experience is invaluable it's there's not enough words to describe it to get in that pen you know like we watch it on tv all the time and we watch these guys go in there it's 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 just like a whole different world over here mm. and just do it just believe in yourself enough to have a crack because it took me a while to do it and believe in myself and here i am you know, and with a good support crew and people behind you, it's possible. Anything's possible. Yeah. So, how long have you been raining for, Jess? Oh, this would be my eighth or ninth raining show. So oh, not long. not long at all. Um, you know, COVID didn't help. Um, so mix and match of training of trying to work on horses that I, you know, they weren't trained rainers. I was trying to do it and didn't know how to do it. So I've learned a lot as I go. Um, but yeah, so two and a half maybe three years but yep. as i said couldn't show a lot because of covid so big learning curve super fun loved every minute of it jess that is just amazing so a big take home i guess for everyone at home back in australia thinking you know i can't do it you've been raining for not very long yep. this is your eighth or ninth show yep. and you're showing at run for a million in vegas yep. what an achievement what an experience you must be so proud of yourself i know all the aussies would have been behind you and watching you at home on the live stream in yep. the wee hours of the morning well done, Jess. Thanks for taking the time with us today. We really appreciate it. And just watching, going to watch your career skyrocket from here. <laughs> thank you so much. And also thank you so much to everyone at home who backed us, supported us, um, cheered for us, watched us early hours of the morning and everyone to help us get here. It's, it's been super fun. So we appreciate all the support. So thank you. Well done, Jess Kent. Thank Congratulations. You. And we'll see you next year to run for a million again. I hope so. <laughs> thank you.